Well, Grant, just let's reflect a little on, on the game yesterday. Um, your overall thoughts on, on how the guys did? Uh, a, a great occasion and a great experience to get under our belt. I think that's the, that's the overall feeling this morning. Uh, very proud of the, of the troops yesterday and, and how we stayed in the battle. Uh, we were confronted with a, a demon first spell, really, from, from Trent Bolt and Tim Southey. And I think they showed up front uh, why New Zealand are probably uh, you know, up there as contenders for this World Cup. So uh, very pleased with uh, the way we, we battled hard, uh, stayed in the match and uh, showed a bit of our own uh, later on in the day. Can you give us uh, an insight into what was going through your mind at 12-4 to 4 and, and things were looking pretty shaky? Yeah, to, to be honest, uh, we were pretty calm. Um, yeah, as calm as you can be when you're, when you're 12 for 4. Uh, you know, it was an outstanding spell of bowling and the way that they, those two presented the seam yesterday and extracted some, some swing and there was a little bit of assistance in the pitch but it was generally a good pitch uh, but it was more the swing uh, and the pace that, uh, that troubled us early and I think it would have troubled most teams in the world. So um, no, just, just super impressed and really, really proud of the way that uh, Richie and Matt uh, not only withheld the, uh, you know, the onslaught but they actually started applying a bit of their own pressure and continue to play the way that we want to play and, and that's a, a positive brand of cricket so you know, you know really really pleased with the way uh, that they battle back into the game um, you know we, we talk about a lot it's not the guys that don't get in it's, it's the guys that get in that need to roll their sleeves up on a day so they were both disappointed not to, to kick on for us and that's something that we pride ourselves on and we talk about a lot um, because you look at any scorecard and, and only three or four guys get in on any day so uh, if you get in, you've got to go on, and, and they know that. Know, know that, but uh, you know it was a, a fantastic occasion yesterday. Um, it was it was an emotional occasion, I think, for for everyone, uh, and yeah, just a good one to get under our belt now. So uh, we know what the stage is like now on in the World Cup, and uh, we've got one underway. So and and we played pretty well at times. So um, you know we we know we can kick on from here. I don't want to dwell too much on yesterday because obviously we're looking ahead to the England game now as well. But um, two drop catches, and you've talked to me before about priding yourself on your fielding. That must have been slightly disappointing. But then the guys also took catches when they mattered as well. Yeah, yeah, we we uh, we didn't feel badly. Uh, I think we were energetic in the field, and, and that's come through. And obviously the reflections from everyone. Uh, but we also know that we perhaps weren't at our best yesterday and I think we're up, the, up against the best fielding unit in the, in the world in, in the Black Caps. They've got some outstanding fielders. Uh, we planned uh, and we were aiming to match them yesterday. Uh, we lost that battle uh, and you know, we, we keep a, a tally of, of the minor battles within the war and uh, we believe that if we win most of those then, then we'll go on and win, win more matches than we'll lose. But, yeah, we actually lost the, the building battle yesterday due, due to a couple of spilled catches, which was unusual uh, for us, but it's something that we pride ourselves on and we'll continue to work hard at. Um, let's look forward to England then. What kind of game do you expect? Similar, a bit more attritional? It's the old enemy after all. Yeah, like we're, we're just keeping our feet on the ground here and uh, you know, we haven't necessarily targeted any particular games to win. Uh, we believe that if, if we play our best at this tournament, uh, we can upset any side, you know, and, and I say upset, then that, you know, we're realistic also that we haven't won a World Cup game yet and, uh, and we haven't beaten a top tier nation. But I believe if, if we keep playing the way we are and showing the character we are, we, we are showing, um, then, then those two uh, goals are, are not far away. Uh, but we're just keeping it real. Uh, we're enjoying every day here. Uh, and we're enjoying the fact that, uh, you know, we know we're, we're just going to try and get better every day. So today's a travel day and a rest day, uh, but it's an important day for us. So we need to prepare and get ready for tomorrow. Um, you know, it'll be a light training tomorrow and then a couple of rest days, which equally important. You know, it's, it's really important. I think the emotional drain of yesterday was evident uh, in a lot of the guys uh, last night. You could see that. You know, there was exhaustion uh, in the faces and the bodies of a lot of guys. Even though we haven't pushed too hard in training, um, I think the, the occasion you know, has, has taken its toll. So we're mindful of that as coaches um, and we've planned for that too. So the rest and recovery is, is probably as important for us now uh, as the final top up in the trainings as we lead into you know, England. And um, oh, we're, we're so looking forward to, uh, to doing battle here. You know, the, the Hagley Park uh, conditions, we know them well. Uh, it's happy hunting ground for our team. Uh, it was you know, a, a year ago, yes, but uh, it's very familiar here in Christchurch for the team 
who played so well uh, in February last year, uh, you know, under Craig Wright as coach, and, and they won seven in a row. So, uh, you know, I think the guys are, are looking forward to being back to, you know, familiarity. And um, I, I think the pitch too in Hagley uh, is a good one. You know, it's shown that it's got good pace, um, and I think that'll suit our, our guys.